Yo, what's going on? Oh, okay. That was not good. Uh, what's going on, everybody? You know it's gonna be a banger when stuff's already falling in the intro. This is gonna be a two brand unboxing today. Um, I actually have a ton of stuff from Palace. You guys didn't even see me buy. So I was too tired to make a live cop, man. I'm gonna be real with y'all. But we also have the FTP items I picked up in their last collab with Fucked. So this is gonna be a fun one. I'm really excited to get into this stuff. Um, a couple pickups for the personal, a couple goofy ass items. I don't even know why I purchased. Let's hop into this video, man. I hope you guys enjoy. So we're gonna start off with the Palace for this video. Um, I went so hard on Palace Week 1. I actually regret not making a video. I did tell all the people in my Discord group browser what items to be going for, and the Bonsai Tea was my pick for one of the best profit items. You guys are gonna see a lot of them, but I'm probably gonna be keeping them for the personal as well. I actually love the Bonsai stuff. But let's get into this first package, and as you guys see, we got a ton of stuff. Let's start it off with the beanies. Um, I, you guys know how I feel about the duck, man. The duck is like one of the best designs from Palace, but at the same time, man, like, they are running the duck into the ground, bro. Like, I actually am a little bit disappointed how much we're now seeing this design every season. It's like, man, it is fire, Palace. Like, you definitely killed it. But, bro, this is like the seventh iteration of the duck. It's time to let the homie stay in the pond, bro. Like, let my man swim in peace. Uh, they still got this boy working a nine to five. Hasn't seen his family in two years. But he's carrying the whole brand right now. These are fire. We also got the black. Unfortunately, I didn't buy the $1,100 leather jacket if you're expecting to see that. But next up, we got some t-shirts, folks. Now, like I was saying, uh, I was telling all the boys in browser, go get these goddamn bonsai tees, man. This is, in my opinion, one of the hardest trifergs we have seen in a while. Like, probably my favorite uh, since the ripped triferg. That's one of my favorite triferg designs at this point. I absolutely love that shirt. This one comes close, though. Uh, I am going to take one of these out. I actually think I'm going to keep one for the personal. I can't tell you the last palace tee I kept for myself, so that's legitimately crazy news. And next up, we have a hat, uh, just the canvas P cap, something we've seen 40 billion times. Um, I don't know why I bought this. Just straight up. I don't know. No, oh, damn, bro. Son, this shit got some girth on it. This is the girthiest little duck I ever seen in my life. What? We gotta free my boy from the cage. We got the palace rubber ducky, bro. Come on, duh. yo. This is actually really sick. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but the quality on this rubber duck is actually gas, bro. Like, this is way heavier, thick ass quality. Like, mm, bro, the thickness. Okay, this is one of the funniest accessories of this season, if not the funniest. Uh, you guys knew I wasn't gonna let this duck swim away from your boy at checkout, so yeah. Uh, we had to do it to him, man. It simply was a must. I really need to reorganize this backdrop for y'all. I just randomly put shit into it, but hey, we got a duck back here now. Duck boy stand. <gasps> a Trifer sticker for my peasant ass. Um, so that's our first package from Palace. Hopefully y'all didn't think that was the only thing from Palace, cause bro, this is actually like the craziest amount of Palace packages I've ever gotten from a release. We have two more packs from just that one week. So let's get into the big Bertha, man. This might be one of the biggest packages I've gotten from Palace, um, but you'll see why. So starting it off, woo, duck beanie, woo. I got three of these hoes, bro, help me. Please. By the way, a lot of this stuff you're gonna see raffled or sold on Seattle Select. I've been shouting at that page for a minute, but we're about to start that hoe back up. That's why you're seeing so many of these tees, beanies, things that can raffle really easily for y'all. Rubber duckies, bro. Come on, you knew we had to double up. I did this whole cart for the second duck. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. That rhymes, so it must be true. Little homie for the one back here. Uh, dude, I love those ducks. I absolutely love them. Now here's an interesting one, man. Um, <laughs> yes, sir. We got the Palace Vans. Uh, I, it feels weird even saying that, but I just decided why not? Like, why not get a pair of these? Honestly, these are like painfully dull. Like, literally, the basically a palace logo is all they decided to do on this. That's it, folks. Like, what? We clown on Supreme for their Vans collabs, but like, like, bro, like, what is this? Is the most dull sneaker I've ever seen from a Vans collab. I can't believe it, honestly. It's such a disappointment by Palace. Their shoe, dude, is Palace the worst shoe company of all time? Like, I, I hate to be the person to say that, but look at the Reeboks they just dropped. Look at every single sneaker they've made in the last two years. Like, where's the heat, bro? Palace shoes used to be so fire. Like, I'm not just wanting to be a Palace shoes hater. I've owned many pairs myself. A pair of Palace Adidas is what got me into streetwear in the first place. 
displays, but man, have they fallen from grace with their shoe designs. Those are just like so boring, but I got them to flip because I don't fucking know. They went out of stock. So next up, this is one of our big adventure cops of this video. We got the Jacquard Fleece. You know I'm gonna take it out for the boys too. Good guy, Boone Man. Um, now this one was another item I was telling the boys. I actually see some profit on this. This is actually a really nice, damn. This actually feels like a different fleece from the other ones I've bought from them. I don't know, kind of weird. Let me get this box out of the way. Uh, yeah, here we have it. I actually really do dig the color for this. I don't like the design. This reminds me so much of a palace fleece I already owned before. Kind of feels like a remake in my opinion. Not a lot to talk about. My biggest issue with these fleeces from Palace is the inner mesh lining, bro. Like fleeces are supposed to be cozy inside, bro. I hate how they do this mesh interior. Like it's so bad. But aside from that, we have more bonsai tees now. I definitely gotta take one of these out for myself. Blue or white, boys? I don't fucking know. But yo, the colors on these are nice. All right, guys, I decided on the blue just because uh, it's probably gonna be harder to sell this color. But damn, the mediums actually fit really nice for Palace. I'm actually pretty impressed. Um, not my first colorway choice. I kind of wish I got the green or the purple. Those were definitely the better colors. There's a more up close shot of it. The little hits of the purple, like pink in the tree with the power. <laughs> okay, I teleported back into my normal clothes. We have one final package still from the palace release. You all can probably guess what it is based off this. It's been a little bit, man, since I showed off a deck and this is a fire one. I literally did not see this deck until release time. Damn, bro, we have the palace, big ass doggy uh, skate deck. Palace on the other side, bro, this is just too hard. If I was to put up a palace deck, man, this would maybe be one. I love it, bro. This came in two colors, sold out decently fast, super slept on. The palace decks always get slept on. There was a deck a few seasons ago I hyped up so much and everyone told me I was crazy. And that deck now sells for 200 bucks, so I'm still waiting on an apology. But let's hop into this FTP stuff. Thank you all for being good sports, my FTP fans. It's your guys' turn, man. We have this box. I already have opened it. I'm gonna keep it a bug, man. This is too good of a release for me to let sit around. I had to sneak a little peek, but let's get into it. Starting it off, bam, we got the FTP fucked little hat. Oh man, I am not gonna lie, guys. I've tried this one on. It fits my head so bad. I don't get it, because their hats usually fit me perfect. And I feel like it's probably the same hat maker. It's auto, which I like auto hats, but look at this. I don't know, bro. I don't know. This is also too big. I'm not even gonna adjust it. It just does not fit my head properly. That's not the brand's fault. That's really just my idiotic head, but I do love this item. I bought it for myself, so I'm kind of bummed. It looks so dorky on me. Speaking of looking dorky on me, here's our next item, man. This uh, camo sun hat. Super sick details all over this. Uh, we have the little wizard boy. 30 years, if you guys did not know, Fucked was celebrating the 30 year this year. We also got 10 years on the other side from FTP. Yeah. I, dude, I just don't do hats. Like, I don't know, guys. I just, it doesn't work out for me. But here we go. Uh, looking like a goddamn camp nice counselor. Shot. Okay, I'm gonna keep it on. Honestly, just laugh at me. I don't even care. I'm numb to it at this point. Let's keep going. Next up, we got a bunch of tees. Uh, some of these are actually for me. I heard people complaining about the tee graphics this release, and I truly don't get it, bro, because I actually thought this was such a sick lineup of tees. A bunch of inspiration from older fuck tees. We have the middle finger with the American flag, probably my least favorite, just because I actually just don't like the American flag on clothing ever. Got this long sleeve. Um, I don't really wear long sleeves anymore, but I do like this one a lot. Next up, we got the logo tees. Uh, this one, like, I didn't realize it was 3M till the release, and this one's on navy. I thought this was in black. I really wish this was yellow on black because I just don't like navy tees, bro. Uh, I would have kept this one if it was a black tee. But my favorite tee from this release has to be the Kiss Tee little afro, dude, man. I thought this was such a sick shirt. Um, I don't even really know why I like it so much. There's just something about it, like the Kiss graphic with the homie with the afro, big ass FTP chain. This is as close as we'll ever get to seeing the insane clown posse version of Zach, bro. Like, I'm, okay, let's chill. This is a funny ass shirt, though. Um, again, inspiration from an older fuck tee. I'll throw it on even for the boys, man. Fuck it. There's a changing room in this video. Here it is, man. I Yeah, I love this shirt. I think it's so cool. Of course, you gotta complete the fit with the hat looking like a predator or something. I don't know, man. Um, but that is gonna do it for this video. Just playing. We got stickers, folks. Um, I didn't get the Afro dude sticker, bitch. I wanted the Afro dude sticker. Okay, actually, I realized I had a second package. I didn't even notice. 
Starting it off, bam, we have the little, I forgot they did these, bro. Um, the little like rolling trays. I have a bunch of the OG FTP ones they did like a year ago. This is a sick one though. It's a smaller version. Um, pretty dope. I actually enjoy that. I totally forgot I ordered these, bro. Let me take these out for y'all. Now, I'm gonna be honest, like I just don't really wear camo pants like that. So I don't really think I'm gonna keep these or anything, but I actually do really enjoy the way they incorporated the branding on these. The, the, actually, damn, bro, these look way better in hand. And I have to say the quality on these is like actually super solid for a 90, what were these, like 95 or so for a pair of pants. These actually feel way better quality than I was expecting. Um, we have this really sick patch. Hopefully that is picking up. Really am digging that. But yeah, these are the pants. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these, but I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm really impressed with them. They're actually growing on me a bit. But that's gonna conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was honestly a lot bigger than I expected. Like we actually went for like 20 minutes or so. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I changed like three times. So hopefully that meant something to y'all. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Maybe let me know your favorite item in the video. Also, if you guys do have one of the lighters from this fuck collab and want to sell it to me, that'd be sick because I didn't get one and I'm, I'm very salty. So I'll see y'all later. I'm out. Peace.